Welcome to this week's edition of Grizzly Spotlight, covered by ATI Physical Therapy. Nate Gatter joined this week by Grizzlies infielder Shane Martirosian. And Shane, let's start with, uh, you've only been with the Grizzlies now for, for a few weeks, coming over from affiliated ball in the, in the Reds organization. Start with some of the differences and maybe some of the adjustments you've had to make here and some of the things you've, you've preferred or, or had to adjust to or whatever. Uh, th- there's several differences. It's been kind of nice being here. It's, a, uh, it's definitely a, a difference than di- affiliated ball. There's a, uh, I think it's a lot more laid back compared to affiliated ball. The, the pressure isn't necessarily the same. Um, you're still, I mean, I guess, still trying to compete, still trying to win, uh, win a job every day, still out there trying to win ball games. But um, it's it's fun. This is a, uh, it's definitely different. It's it's still baseball, which is nice. But um, it's been fun so far. So we talked about something in your career that's kind of similar to something we discussed with Terry McClure last year in his first year with the Grizzlies, in that. You're still one of the younger guys on the team, only in your early 20s, but you're also one of the more experienced because you guys, both of you were drafted out of high school and, yeah. and played in the minor leagues during when the time when some of these other guys were playing college ball. Now, when you look back on that, like as a, as a 17, 18-year-old getting drafted out of high school and, and signing with the Reds and you were, you were a relatively high draft pick, what do you wish now at 23 or, and, and well into your professional career you could tell yourself at that time? There's a lot. I uh, I definitely didn't know what I was getting into at that time. I didn't have uh, – my dad um, never really played baseball, came to the States when he was a teenager. So baseball was uh, – baseball was kind of newer to our family. My mom played baseball and softball kind of growing up. But, like, coming in, getting drafted out of high school, like, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Uh, there was a lot of stuff that when it came to learning the game that I had no idea – at, at 18, I thought I knew everything about baseball, and little did I know I was completely wrong. I think uh, every day you learn more and more, um, and it's just, it's been exciting so far. So I think about somebody like you, too, from being from California, and at 17 or 18, having to kind of adjust the way that your life is, going from, it's a big enough transition for some of these guys from college ball into affiliated ranks playing every day, let alone from high school and having to make that adjustment. What about culturally, going all over the all over the country? We talked with Terry about going from Atlanta straight to Grand Junction, Colorado, to play rookie ball. For you, going from California and baseball has taken you all over to Ohio, to Florida. What are some of the cultural differences and, and kind of experiences that you've had off the field? It, it, it's been cool. I mean, I, I got a lot of friends that are uh, I've met that I never would have actually had the chance to meet, Dominicans, Venezuelans, Cubans. And the cool thing is, I mean, they all have their stories about, you know, how they got to be uh, – you know, with the Reds at that time. Um, at the end of the day, though, it, it's kind of cool how, like, baseball makes, like, a uh, – it's like a common ground that you guys find. And uh, it, it whether – whatever language you're speaking, it all ends up uh, – baseball kind of brings you together. And it's something that, like, I wish people would actually get to, to learn and realize. So to wrap it up, just to, as now that you're starting to really get comfortable and get your feet wet with the Grizzlies – what are some of your goals, whether it's, it's things you want to improve with the team or, or, or things you want to do individually on your own game between now and the end of the season? I, I want to win more. <laughs> we've, we've been struggling um, as a team. I think that when it comes to our bats, we're either there or we're not. And same thing when it comes to pitching. Uh, defensively, we're either there or we're not. I think there's things that like we're, we're so close to putting everything together and actually finding some success. And I know it's there. We have the talent. We have the guys. We have a good group of guys. The camaraderie is there. And I think it's uh, we're close to figuring it out. Well, thanks for spending some time with yeah, us, Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. For Shane Martirosi and Nate Gatter saying so long, this has been Grizzly Spotlight covered by ATI Physical Therapy.